Hello, everybody. My name is Tim McNip with Green Science Solutions, and welcome to another conversation with people who've chosen to forego toxic chemicals and to clean and sanitize their facilities with stabilized aqueous ozone, or SAO. At Green Science Solutions, we are passionate about providing access to verifiably cost-effective, sustainable solutions to improve the health of our communities and of our environment. And it's with that vision that we believe we can offer the sport of wrestling, a natural, effective, sustainable cleaning solution that we believe is uniquely positioned to help wrestling return safely to the mat. I am talking about, again, stabilized aqueous ozone, or SAO. It's a safe, natural cleaning solution that's not only generated on-site and on-demand, but it's 99.99% effective against the EPA's top surrogate virus for COVID-19 and a whole list of virus and bacteria, all while being safe to use in situations and safe for people, especially kids, to come into contact with. And it is with that, it's my pleasure to welcome my following two guests tonight. Will Short, head coach of Minnesota's top ranked prep wrestling team and a member of one of Minnesota's biggest family names in the sport of wrestling. And Jared Lawrence, former NCAA champion at 149 pounds and current co-owner along with Brandon Paulson of Pinnacle Wrestling, Minnesota's premier wrestling club where they are turning out elite wrestlers into the national and international wrestling scene. I want to thank both of you guys for agreeing to share your experience with stabilized aqueous ozone or SAO as we're going to call it going forward. And Jared, I targeted you and I targeted you and Brandon months ago when this thing first started. And you've had this about as long as anybody uh, out there. Can you uh, tell us about your experience with SAO to this point? You know, How is it working for you? Yep, we actually, um, we absolutely love it. It is, uh, it's, it's easy to use, it's simple, it's safe. It's basically a, a no brainer in the wrestling world. You know, before, before this, you know, we were spraying chemicals all over the mat, which is, it's fine, it's cleaning it. It's, it's keeping us clean from, you know, the, the skin infections you can get with uh, wrestling type stuff. Um, but you're also rolling around in chemicals just because they're dried doesn't mean that they're still not there. I mean, I, I've had many practices where my, my forehead, I'm like, man, my forehead is on fire right now, but nobody seems to, you just don't, you don't think about it until it comes a little bit easier when you have a, a system like yours that is chemical free. And then you're like, man, I, I haven't had that burn on my forehead, you know, since we've been using this thing. Not that it's all the time, but it's just, it's a no brainer that you can actually have chemicals um, on the mat or you can have a chemical free area on the mat. Absolutely. Uh, Will, you actually uh, were introduced uh, to SAO via Pinnacle as well. Talk about that. You've had it now for about a month and then tell us, was it a difficult transition for you? Well, obviously I saw what Pinnacle was doing and, and um... I started thinking about how this would apply to a high school season and how it would apply to my wrestlers uh, throughout a year, through a practice, through competition, and through a year. And I think what Jared said, the simplicity of it, uh, I think is the number one thing that sold me, first of all. You know, high school coaches are a lot like me. We probably, every high school coach out there has got a system on how they clean mats and how they how they clean kids' headgears and how they clean their, their uh their shoes and they've got a plan because you have to, because you, we don't want to lose kids during a high school season. It's a compacted season. You want to make sure that they're competing every week and a skin issue is just absolutely devastating for a season. And so you've got to do, you got to have a plan. Well, I mean, I got guys using wipes before practice. I got guys using wipes after practice. We're washing the mats in the morning and the afternoon. Uh, we've got kids coming in after little kids coming in after our practices and we're trying to wash. We got little six and seven year olds rolling around in bleach and chemicals and because we got to get them clean because we know we're coming out of a high school practice and we know we've got bacteria and germs and viruses all sitting on the mat. And so as I, as I saw the product and I saw what it was capable of doing and I saw that you could spray it right onto the athlete and you could spray it right on the headgear and you could spray it right on the shoes. Um, and then you obviously you can clean mats immediately. You've got a clean surface um, and it's more effective and, and it, it may be the most effective thing we have for mats. Uh, I just look at it and said, this has to be the product that we use. This is what, where we have to go. Uh, this gives my team the best chance uh, to stay skin disease free for a season. And it gives me the, the easiest way of applying a, a, a system uh, to a team 
to keep everybody safe. So it, it's a no-brainer. It really is. I, I can't tell you how much it means for us at Green Science Solutions to hear people who are as regarded as highly as you guys are in wrestling say the things that you're saying. Jared, when we first brought SAO over to Pinnacle, we were in the middle of a shutdown. Unfortunately, we're back in the shutdown. And, and now we find out we're going to be in that shutdown through the holidays. Looking for a bright side in all of this, when you are up and operating and you are using the SAO, do you take pride in the fact that you feel like you're doing what you can to stop the transmission of this virus? Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's not just, um, you know, COVID either. It's, you know, like like Will was talking about, it's every other skin infection that's, that's there. I mean, I don't need to list them in this uh, webinar, but um, they're out there. They're, right. they're out there and they're real. And it, it's, it's like what he said, and you get it, man, you might be out for a couple of weeks and you just, you can't afford that. So it's, it's, it's nice to know that we have a safe and effective way. And for us, I mean, on, on Sundays before this last shutdown, we had five practices, five practices on a Sunday, which means we got to clean the mats five times. If you're using chemicals, you're basically just lathering the mats five different times. So for us, this is, this is awesome. It's easy. We spray all the handles down. We spray, you know, everything down, bathrooms down, locker room, easier, man. It's a lot easier to clean the locker room when you just can walk by and just kind of spray everything versus uh, scrub with chemicals. But um, it is really nice to know that um, not only are we fighting COVID, we're fighting skin infections, but we're doing it safely. And we should mention too that the, the dwell time, it's how long does something need to lay on a surface before it's effective? And for SAO, we're talking one minute, one minute to reach 99.99% effectiveness. So I'm assuming there's a, there's a savings in time there too. Will, I know Pinnacle has their SAO dispenser right in the wrestling room. Where is yours located at school? And how are you using it in terms of not only trying to clean the wrestling room, but in trying to protect your athletes throughout the day? So one of the things our, we don't have, we didn't have a water dispenser in our wrestling room. We have a fountain, but we didn't have a good place that we could put it. So we had a custodial closet that's just off our wrestling room. It's down the hall. And so basically we, we had it installed into to the custodial closet, which then allows me to come in with my sprayer, fill my sprayer up with the SAO, and then I can bring it into the room. And, and it's funny, you said one minute, I start at one end of the room and I spray the mats. And by the time I get to the other end, it's been almost 45 seconds. By the time I walk back down and, I, and I'm ready to wipe everything off, it's been a minute. So I know that it's just all, it's just in the flow of, of the cleaning process that I get the mats clean. And then what we will do when we return to competition here, or we return to practice on the fourth, we'll have pods, um, much like Jared talked about, he's got five practices a day. We might have two or three practices in a row. And what I mean is we might have pod one, pod two, and then kids practice. So we're gonna go right in a row and we've got to be able to clean the mats in between each one of those. Um, and so that's another piece. And then we're going to, we're going to fill single bottles. Every, every wrestler will have their own individual bottle in which they can fill. Uh, and I think this is really, really something that's going to catch on in wrestling. I really do. I think you're going to see our most elite wrestlers doing this down the road a couple of years from now as, as this product hits wrestling. You're going to see people walk around with these spray bottles, spraying their hands, spraying their shoes down before and after matches. Um, so when they go out there, they know that they're not carrying any germs or infections and they're going to walk out there and they're going to wrestle their matches and then they're going to spray themselves down after the match. Yep. Um, and, and so I, maybe I'm in a tournament and I'm going to wrestle three, three matches and I don't want to go take a shower after every match. I can spray myself down. You know, the science has, it can't really show this yet, but I think we're going to see a dramatic decrease in the amount of skin infections we have. Um, and so what we need is for uh, SAO to be in the wrestling world a little bit longer. And when we see that happen, we're going to see a decrease in, in some of the major problems. I, you know, I don't want to get into some of the major problems we have with wrestling because skin disease is just part of what we, we've had to deal with. And we all have a plan to take care of them. But this is a way that's so much easier than the products out there that we've been using. Well, you, you know, we, you and I had a conversation about that prior to this uh, tonight. You, you really made me aware, you know, of that situation. And at Green Science Solutions, we are very interested. So if there's any programs out there who are using this or want to use this and want to track their skin sheets and versus years past, 
we are very much interested in working with you and trying to track that. So we'll have that information next year because we definitely want this to be part of the uh, situation going forward. Uh, Jared, when we first came as Green Science Solutions to Pinnacle, we did a demonstration to show you how the uh, SAO could do a better job cleaning your mat. Um, you watched it and then we were able to use it, something called an ATP meter and show you what was on the mat prior to cleaning and then what was afterwards. Um, how long after you saw that did it take you to think, wow, I think we're onto something different here, not just snake oil, but really something that works? Probably about 20 seconds when you really think about it, because all our other cleaners, it says that it has to be wet for 10 minutes. Like it says it right on the right on the chemical, right on the tablet. Before we you know we had these little tablets and they 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 were fine. You know, put a tablet in the water; it's got to dissolve and um, you know goes that route. But it would say that you, you need to spray it on enough that it has to stay wet for ten minutes. Well, when you got to practice fifteen minutes later, it's a little tricky how that works. You know, things don't just dry. Like if it has to stay wet for 10 minutes, it's not like it just, everything just dries like poof, done. So there's many practices we'd have to kind of alter our warm up a little bit because it's not like we can do our normal warm up because the mats were still wet. I'm not saying they're, you know, super wet, but um, they were still wet. We'd have to alter things a little bit. So that was the first thing that, that, that popped into my mind was like, man, we can, we can spray this and, you know, like, we don't have to like really load it on and have it stay wet for 10 minutes. That was the first thing that hit my mind. Uh, Will, you know, this virus has been a game changer in many ways, but you and I were having a conversation. You said to me, Tim, this vaccination, this vaccinations are going to come. This virus is going to come and go, but still this thing needs to be in every way, every wrestling room in America. Why did you, why do you believe that? Well, let me just say that I, did, I don't take COVID lightly and uh, I don't wanna make sure that everybody knows that I, I'm, a, I'm a believer in COVID sure. and I wanna make sure that what I said was that I think we will eventually be COVID. I think there'll be a vaccine. We'll get back to wrestling. We'll get back to tournaments. We're gonna get back to normal. And so if I was a wrestling coach, well, I know this was the best product out there for, for uh, fighting COVID and making sure that we have clean wrestling rooms and clean headgears and things that aren't carrying COVID. So we know that. But COVID is going to eventually go away. I mean, it might be summer or whenever you think it's going to happen and we're, we're totally vaccinated. But there's a lot of other things. That, we had a shutdown in high school wrestling a couple of years ago for the, the herpes gladiatorium virus. It has nothing to do with COVID. Um, and that is something that is still very much a concern of every high school wrestling coach in the country. That's something that can shut down your program. And you And I'm telling you, I've been in the boat and I've been shut down. I'm I was one of the programs that, that had to be shut down. It is a horrible, horrible feeling to know that you are in charge of kids. Your safety is their top, the safety of the kids is your top priority. And you want to be able to say to the parents and to the kids that we have done absolutely everything we can do to keep your kids safe from this virus. And I believe this product is going to be that. The, the studies are now showing, uh, Tim, you've got some science behind uh, the, the herpes virus and, and the success that SAO has on the virus. Um, and so we know right away that this is a great product to keep our kids safe. And I can go to my parents and my kids. Is, is it 99? Is it 100% effective? No one's going to say that about any cleaning product because then somebody's going to get it and it's skin to skin. And so, but have I done everything I could with this product? And can I say that to a parent? Hey, we're using the best thing out there that we can find to make sure that your kids are safe. And, and that makes me feel good as a high school wrestling coach. Jared, what's been the feedback that you've received from your athletes and maybe even from their parents after having moved away from the chemical cleaners and over to SAO? Was there any apprehension or how long did it take them to buy into what you were doing? I think that um, all, all parents, I, I, I probably couldn't find one parent that would, would disagree with it. I mean, who, who wants their kids rolling around in chemicals? It's it's a like I said I said it earlier. I don't mean to bad on it, but it's a no brainer. Every single parent's going to be like, "Are you kidding me? This is awesome. My kid can be cleanseful and not with chemicals." You know, and it's just it's it's it really it really is a no brainer. And the the other thing too that that you have to think about as a um, as a coach 
not even with the, not even with the athletes is I used to give my, <laughs> I used to give my other coaches masks because they're spraying all these chemicals, you know, around, but it's, it's, it's more of a mist spray. So I was like, you guys, you got, you got to wear your masks when you're in there. I don't want you guys breathing in these chemicals. So it's, it's a lot easier now to, to, to actually not have to worry about that aspect of it as well. Not just my athletes, my, my, my other employees, my other coaches. Absolutely. Quicker, no PPE in that sense uh, required, no glasses required. Uh, Will, you you haven't had it uh, as long as Jared has, but I know from your son, Jake, that he had, he had experience with it. So you were familiar with it uh, for a while there. H how has that whole transition been with you guys and, and your parents and with the feedback you're getting from your community? Um, well, you know, we've been in a pause, so we haven't had to, we haven't had to hold gotcha. along with our parents yet. So I can't, I can't say that my parents have had it, but I have a lot of kids who um, attend Pinnacle and I've had conversations with some of those parents and they're very excited that we've, we've adopted the same program that Pinnacle has in our high school wrestling room. And I, I think one of the conversations, I have one, one parent and one dad said, everybody should be using this product. And I said, I agree with you. I think that if we go to other facilities and they're using the same product, we're going to feel like we're, we're in a safe situation. Obviously we've got, I mean, we go to, I mean, last year we were at the independence tournament. There's 32 teams. We we're at the Christmas tournament, 32 teams. The cheese had 32 teams. Um, and then we had two small teams. I mean, think about the number of teams you're exposed to when, when you are in those giant tournaments. And so it only takes one guy who's not taking care of himself or not taking care of, or is not clean or, or slips by. And a lot of times it's not on purpose. It's somebody doesn't know they've got a pimple. It doesn't look right. Um, it only takes one guy. And so if we can be using SAO in between matches and spraying ourselves down and, and it's safe, I mean, what other product can you just spray on yourselves? I mean, it's, I mean, we've had other products that were skin, we, you rub on your skin and there are other things out there, but I just don't think it's as easy to use and as effective as this product. Uh, this is the point now where I'm going to do the shameless plug for green science solutions. So make sure you guys answer the right way. Um, so, so Jared, you know, when, when, when we were first talking about a green science solutions, well, who do we really want to talk to? I said, well, gosh, we need somebody who, who people will really listen to in the community. Somebody that really cares about this issue and, and who would they listen to? And I, I thought of you two knuckleheads at, at Pinnacle and, uh, was really thankful that, you know, you took my call, you know, and, and, and answered right away and gave us the opportunity to come over there and, and do that. And that's why I wanted to have you guys here tonight because I can say this in front of Minnesota's wrestling community. And, and I think a lot of people know how I feel about wrestling, but I never walk the walk the way you guys do. And I still don't work with the kids the way you guys do. So to have you guys means a lot to us. Talk about, if you would, your experience with Green Science Solutions and us coming out there, showing you the test and kind of putting the science behind the promise. Yeah, um, it, was, uh, it was very simple. Um, you know, Tim called and said, Hey, I got something you should check into. And, and I know Tim. So I was like, absolutely. Let's look at it. And, um, they, they came and it, it's, it's the science is there. You know, we had a ATP meter, I believe it's called, you know, the, the numbers were like, like 12,000 or eight, maybe not 1200. It was around, around 8,000. I think the first time we checked them at the first time, which is dirty. That's and, not a clean mat. And we clean them all the time. <laughs> it's just amazing when you have bodies that are wrestling and it's the, the amount of physical, like grabbing, rubbing is, it's amazing that we clean that much. And I was, I was like, are you sure your meter's right? <laughs> but, um, you know, so they, they test it, they, they, we clean it, we retest it. And I think it was under 200, which is actually unbelievably clean. Um, and it was, and it was easy. It was very easy. They talked us through the process. Like, you know what, where would your water go? I showed them where it's at. And with like, you know, we can put this in the wall. It's, it's not a, it's not a big, huge thing. It's a, it's a small thing. It goes, you just need a water source. It goes onto the wall. The water runs through it. You have a hose. I can fill everything up so easily. I mean, I did it, you know, we've, we've been doing it, you know, the past, what, 12 weeks, just very consistently, just pouring it in and then you spray it and it's, 
it's, it's a very easy process. It was very easy. They have, you know, we have spray bottles that we, we fill up that people can spray on their way out of practice. Like, um, you know, everybody just kind of walks by and I just spray their hands and tell them to rub their face, your hands. It's, um, it's, it's a lot more than we were doing. I know that. And Will, I think the thing that stunned me the most when we started to talk, because Jake had been at Pinnacle and he, you, you're like, what are you using there? And you, he tells you about this. You talk to these guys and you're sort of sold on it. And I get the conversation, Jared, you know, puts us together. And at first I couldn't believe that. How could you have just wrestled at Simley 10 years ago at the Gophers five years ago, yet you've got a son and you're now a head coach. How did that happen? Uh, you, you can't, you can't, that many years can't have gone by, but we'll let, we'll let that one go. Um, but you have had this whole experience. You know, you've got that name from your dad to yourself, to your son. So your reputation, you know, your name means everything in wrestling. And, and, and you know, that, that's just it. To have you out here talking about this. And you, we talked about you and you have actually offered to be kind enough to where if someone wanted to find out more about this and doesn't necessarily want to contact me or Green Science Solutions, which you should, but if you don't, you're, you're going to say that they can start with you. Is that correct? Correct, 100%. So I just said a little bit about my experience. I called, I called Jared. He told me to call Tim. Tim. Tim and I met and talked, and then he sent a rep over. They did the ATP test on ours. I had just cleaned my mats before they got there I, the day before. We hadn't had any practices. Obviously, we're in a shutdown. Ours was eight, 1,800, um, and that was after I cleaned it, and I had, had not had a practice on it. Um, and so I was still at 1,800. And then they did the they did the spray on it, and it got down to about 200, I believe, or somewhere in that neighborhood, um, which I believe you can eat off of it. If that's how clean it was. I had my head custodian there during the process, um, and I also invited my uh, the, man, the maintenance uh, my facilities manager uh, to come and witness it. Uh, we are like every other public school in the country. You can. Um, we have health and safety dollars. We have, we have dollars that have been put aside to, to manage the COVID virus. And so I brought them in to say, this is what I need for my wrestling room. And I think that uh, this should be installed right away. It's not overly expensive. And, and, you know, like I said, we all have a system. All, every high school head coach right now in the, in the state or in, any, in the country has a way of which they're cleaning their mats and they've got a way because they have to, because their kids' safety depend on it. What we're saying here, Jared and I and Tim, is this is better, it's safer, there's no chemicals, and it's easier for you. And it's not that expensive. And so if they want to come talk to me about my experience, I'd love to talk to any coach. Uh, I think the more people that we have using this product, the safer our assets are going to be. How do people get a hold of you, Will? Uh, they can they can find me through um, my uh, they can email me at uh, William Short and it's really easy to remember William Short 007 at gmail.com. Uh, they can email me um, and that I, I would be willing to talk with any other high school head coach about this product. Brandon, are you or Jared? Are you surprised at all that he's got 007 in his Gmail account? I mean, is he the most Bond like character that you're thinking of? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, that's a very <laughs> no. weird that my brother has the same 007 behind his name. <laughs> <laughs> and Brett and I are good friends, so we, we know exactly it's a code. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. I can't, I can't thank you both enough. Um, you know, people always to ask me, I was just on the Alan Josh wrestling podcast, and, 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 you know, people always say, oh, thanks for all you do for wrestling. Thanks for all you do for wrestling. And... I got more out of watching wrestling and, and watching you guys compete at the University of Minnesota. And I get such a kick out of seeing what you guys are doing now. We're carrying on your dad's legacy. And, and Jared, the way you've taken your, your, your skill set and applied that you know, to, to helping these kids excel, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And we really do believe that with the SAO, that the fact that it is safe, the fact that it does work fast, you don't have to go to the store and buy more. You're gonna be able to make this right on site. We just really wanted to get this message out there. We can't thank you guys enough for, for making that happen. Before I wrap it up, I'll give you guys a last chance. If there's anything that I haven't asked you, you think you wanna add, Will? No, I think you covered it, Tim. And, and like I said, uh, I'm open to any conversation that anybody wants to have about the product and, 
And uh, I'm hoping that it, it ends up in a lot of wrestling rooms across the country. Jared? Nope. You got it, man. You nailed it right on. How come you always have to do these? What is with Paulson? Is he like averse to the camera? Because I know he's not. Um, he's more quiet than I am, I guess. <laughs> I don't think that's true either, but we'll go with that. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Our guest, Will Short, head coach of one of Minnesota's top-ranked prep wrestling teams, Jared Lawrence, co-owner, uh, and I'd say the better looking half of Pinnacle Wrestling for sharing their experience with SAO and Green Science Solutions. Again, if you want to find out more about SAO and its application to wrestling, Will has generously allowed you to, you can reach out to him by email at williamshort007 at gmail.com. He'll get back to you. And of course, you can always find out more about SAO and the full line of science-based cleaning options we've got at GSS by going to greensciencesolutions.com. Let us know how Green Science Solutions can help you remove toxic chemicals from your home, your place of work, and our environment by choosing sustainability powered by technology. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.